Welcome back to Batman's AVA channel. Uh, we have a Topps Chrome opening here. Uh, one blaster retail box from a uh, Target. There is one left at my Target near my house. Plus we got two hobby packs. We got jumbo pack and we got a regular hobby pack. So just got word yesterday that these two are not getting the short prints of Hugo Rios, uh, Bobby Witt Jr. Uh, I believe we got Riley Green. I'm sorry. Yeah, Hunter Green and Riley Green. Those guys are not in these packs, but apparently they're in the retail packs and the Hobby Light. That's according to the information I have right now. I'm not sure if Tops is really any more statements, but... Uh, Without further ado, I wanted to rip some and see if we have it. You never know. We might get a chance to get a short print out of one of these. Maybe one missed the cut here. Um, these two are from a Topps Diamond dealer near me, so maybe he got them. I don't know. If not, all the hobby packs didn't get the uh, short prints that everybody's trying to chase out of this product. And the hobby packs, I paid probably way more than <laughs> This is over $100 in product right here, so we'll see what we think of this. Uh, Wander just got back off the injury list, so he should be playing here. Maybe his stock will start going back up again, but he was definitely injured there. Uh, so here we go. Um, just uh, keeping up with the uh, tops releases there. We'll probably end with this because there's five autographs in these boxes, and so there's... A good chance there might be an autograph in here. So we'll save that for last. Uh, the Rollerway Pack and the Blaster Box. Okay, so still should be a nice looking product here. We'll make sure we handle this with care. Here we go. Batman's AFA, and we're checking out a uh, new product here. So we'll start off the regular Hobby Pack. Okay, here we go. Tampa Bay on the back. Let's see what we got. Well, we got a color right off the bat here. Alec Skrilov. And what do we got? We got a blue aqua here. And my cat wants to be in this video. Okay, we got a Pavin Smith. Okay, and the Boo Walk, what is our, uh, one of our autos? Okay, so we got a numbered blue auto followed by Rujan. Okay, Videl, so not a short print, but a rookie, but we got a nice Aqua Joe Barrow for the Rangers there out of the, uh, that's numbered to 199. So at least I got one of the uh, five autos out of the, Wait, no, there's only two autos in this hobby pack. So I know it's a pitch, pitcher, but still numbered pitcher. Uh, yeah, one of the complaints I did here, too, is like it's hard to see, distinguish these or not. The auto is like kind of just in the middle of the card. There's not, it doesn't stand out. There's not like a designated spot for it. But uh, that's definitely an on card auto for the, uh, the Rangers there. So. One auto, I mean one auto there. Rookie auto, and we got one other rookie there out of that four card pack. So not a bad start here in the uh, real hobby, but not one of the uh, short prints there. Uh, you can also tell by the uh, numbers on the bottom here. I'll put that in the description later on, but uh, right here, these numbers ending here, you can tell whether that's a short print or not. Which, uh, yeah, more likely, my cat does not want, want to be, yes, hi. She wants to be in the video. <laughs> okay. Open cards with me. Okay. Okay, I guess she's just going to help me open the cards here. Okay, let's get to the uh, blaster box here. But at least uh, get off to a good start there out of the... Uh, I guess 24 packs. I don't have the whole box, so I didn't buy a whole box, at least. So apparently the hobby shops will be getting special packs uh, with bonus uh, 
silver packs, I guess, with those. And uh, here's our empty box from one of my local targets there. And these have four packs, and if you can see, the distinguishing factor is four packs, but you got the Hobby logo here and no Hobby logo there. So still got this, a chance auto in here too. Maybe we'll get two autos, maybe auto out of one of these, you never know. So let's see what we got in the blaster box here. See what's the best value for your money, even if you don't get the short prints. Your local hobby shop should probably be marking the prices down on these those packs because the jumbo and the regular, uh, my one shop had them for five hundred for the jumbo and two fifty for the regular, but definitely the price has gone down. So, okay. Also, I did not pause the uh, video, but uh, it looks like we got a pink pearl here. There is the odds if you guys want to pause those video. Uh, sorry. Right there and uh, check out all the different odds you can get out of here okay so first pack looks like we got a pink pickle on the back wells trevor lawrence treyman cd hoskins and our pink parallel mass scherzer from our shy size young Cy young winner there for the mets who try to make a run here in the uh some pink refractor out of the first pack The next pack. So I believe it's one in four packs you get a regular refractor, but the uh, pink, a little more common. Okay, we got Donaldson. So it looks like we got a regular refractor coming up here. Marte, and here's our first regular refractor, and it's going to be John Gray for the Rangers again, and Ramal. Happily there with a little printing uh, invitation, but that's our first refractor, uh, non-pink. Okay, let's do a regular stack of the non-refractors here. So I believe you're going to get a multiple pinks and every f every four packs you get a chance of the roller refractors here okay we got trey turner boba shet and we got another regular refract oh we got two refractors in this pack so we got a boba shet we got yana molina Pink Refractor, Chris Bryant, and Tatis. Okay, that's a different variation there. It's a different color variation. I'm probably saying these wrong, but it's uh, the... Yeah, Seppa. Okay, so the Prism Refractor is 1 in 8. The Little Refractor is 1 in 4. Yeah, SEPA out of four. So we got one of those out of four. Tatis. So I got two in that one pack, though. My cat wants me to pet her on the video. Okay. <laughs> At least she's not a dog A dog who might eat my cards. So she just wants to say hi to everybody on camera here. <laughs> He's the queen bee center of attention here. So I was going to try to do like a live unscheduled video and make sure the audio is working and had my computer do some type of update. So I don't even know if this is going to work. Ooh, we got it. Uh, I thought it was gold there. Okay, anyway, Brandon Marsh, rookie. A lot of hype for him, but I, he's kind of fizzled a little bit this year. Scherzer and our throwback card is Miguel Cabrera, who's looks like his last year here, and Chaz McCormick. Still cool. Future Hall of Famer there. Yeah, growing up, that was one of the first uh, years I collected the uh, throwbacks to 87. There's a 
Mark McGuire rookie in there and, and Barry Bonds. So uh, that's the one after Mark McGuire's uh, Team USA card. And that's set. Okay, we got a Curtis Terry. And we got two. Ooh, we got one of the Hyper there, I believe it's called. Terry and Nick Gasolianos. And so the rookie, Edward Cabrera. That's a prism uh, refractor there, I believe, or the hyper refractor. I have to double check that. But And we got Shane Beaver, Hall of Famer. I mean, sorry, Cy Young War winner there. So lots of color here. We'll see if that last pack is worth. That's like half of my, I mean, you got, I think it was 16 and, oh my goodness. Yeah, I can go, go buy this stuff at a card shop a lot cheaper after what I paid for this other day. But after yesterday, the prices have definitely went down. But still want to see if there's a chance we get a short print out of one of these blasters. Or is it better to get just the hobby packs, which they're apparently the card shops are going to get a uh, silver packs to compensate them. Rudolph Castro. So definitely keep an update, I believe, at least on Facebook and Twitter. Tops talking about that. Trevor Story. And our next refactor is going to be Jake Cronenworth, followed by Kershaw. So that's that's not a bad rookie there. I believe he had a... It's our first hitting uh, refractor rookie there. So we'll put that in contention there with the... Uh, yeah. Autograph, well, I, I think the autograph, even though it's a pitcher, might be worth the uh, most there so far. Okay, last two packs from this blaster. So, other than the pink, I mean, the, we didn't get any numbered stuff. We got one prismatic or prism refractor plus the uh, pink refractors in there and the railer. Okay, looks like we had our first railer insert uh, coming up. Blake Snell. Castro and our first it's going to be Heart of the City Freeman, Freddie Freeman for the Braves, Heart of the City Refractor insert, not numbered Shane Baz and another Refractor, it's going to be Cal Raleigh the SEPA Refractors there Or SEPA, I'm, I'm but we got the Cronenworth and Rao, and then we got one of these uh, Tatis as well. To check to see if that's short print. Uh, Wife's watching Lost in the background. If you hear some music there upstairs, I am trying not to. I don't think that's copyrighted. That whole. Pretty sure I don't have to mute the audio since it's not playing directly, but I'm sure. Lost will come after me if I, if I had inadvertently played that in the background. No intention on that part, but our last Railer um, Blaster Pack, $35 from Target. They're all $35, the retail packs, but I mean the, the boxes, but the value. You know, the throwback, we got Brennan Belt and George Springer, who definitely had a fun... Uh, they there still on the base, uh, the second base. The second baseman kind of gave up on tagging him in, and then he ended up just, like, moving his foot and getting the base. That was kind of funny there. If you check out the replays of George Springer, uh, I think it was against the Orioles there in this past week. Essentially, he didn't slide the whole way to the second base, and the second baseman just kind of... Like, okay, I'm, I, he's going to be out of the baseline or something. No, he just stopped running, and he turned around picked the ball, and he tagged the base. So, I mean, to me, he's safe. I think the umpire called him safe, too. Okay, so here we go. The grand finale, which would probably be more impressive if there was actually a chance to get this for Prince, and I was kind of hoping we get one of the blaster, but, yeah, you probably have to, 
buy several blasters to get one of these. We did get an auto out of the uh, regular hobby pack, so got a couple uh, rookies out of the uh, blaster release there so far. So let's see if we can beat one of these three cards to get a better uh, card of this uh, jumbo pack of from hobby. So again, these have. I think there's 12 packs and there's five autos. So it's almost just under 50% chances there's auto in here too. So we might get two autos. Let's let's go here. Let's see if we can get up another auto. So this is randomly selected for me. I did not pick these packs. Let's see. We got some color. We got blue. Okay. That's a good sign. Doesn't mean it's an auto, but we got uh, Star of Jack McNeil. Freddie Freeman again. We got his insert just a minute ago. Kevin Burns. Josiah Gray, rookie there. Nelson Cruz. Let me see we're a little stuck together, just a slight mount there. Cruz. See, that's not a Albert who's chasing seven hundred there. Packs are like brand new, and I'm still getting a little stick there. Albert, Rajon, Eli Morgan. That card does not look like it's surface. There is the same, but we, I'll check that out later. Lou Darvish, you Darvish, Kyle Kendricks. Okay, we got a blue card, which is sideways. Okay, we'll just skip to the last card. We got a Connor Wong, Refractor rookie there. Okay. Next up, we have the Hyper Refractor, which is Lars Newpar, rookie. So two Refractors. And the last card is going to be a blue for St. Louis, sideways. That's probably going to be numbered. And it's going to be Harrison Batter. Another wave parallel, and this one's going to be numbered 275. So out of the packs, we got two hobby numbered cards. Lots of refractors, so you're, regardless of the short prints, we got a bunch of those. I'll do a small recap here and see if it's, if you guys have an idea, is it worth the money? Okay, so just in recap here, we did not get any short prints. So just, just start with that alone, we'll, and we'll go on from there. We did get two number cards, so that's not terrible. Uh, but here we go. We're just going to go through the refractor there. And, yeah, side gray was refractor. But, uh, okay, we got a Springer throwback 87 refractor. It's John, John Gray was another refractor here. Sorry about that. Heart of the City, Freddie Freeman. Refractor insert there. I kind of like that with the outline of the city. And I think there might be numbered versions of this, but this is a regular. Next up, we got Vidal. It's not a refractor. I think we might have got two of them, actually. Uh, but most of these are going to be rest of refractors. So I just kind of misplaced in the pack there. Anyway, Edward Cabrera. So the hyper refractor rookie. Some of the pink refractors. We got three of those out of the blaster. So those were not in the retail. Move those up here. After Miggy. Future Old Famer. The Throwback 87. Molina. Matt Scherzer. And Gene Beaver. So, so two good whole, um, Future Hall of Famers are, I think, uh, Cy Young winners and another Hall of Famer, Molina there. His last year was St. Louis. Okay, and the rest of refractors we got uh, Tatis Jr., Sipa, Connor Wong, Railer Refractor, Lars Newtbar, Cal Raleigh, and Cronenworth Refractor. Followed by uh, Edward Cabrera, that was the hyper. So, lots of different color out of here. 
Okay, and we did pretty well on, I mean, except for it's a pitcher, I have to check the comps here, but we did get a two wave refractors. We got the blue out of the jumbo, which, yeah, I, I probably paid a, at least 50 or more for this pack, so I'm glad I got a number card, but you're not always going to get a number to 75 card. That's, I mean, you might, but there's five autos out of 12 packs, so... What about 40% chance of an auto? So you might get one of these instead. That's still a pretty nice card. I, I And probably the best card without checking comps here is the Joe Barlow. And that's numbered to 199.79 on card auto. So never know, maybe a super future Cyan Award winner that may be worth some money. Speaking of which, I have a Jack Flaherty if anybody's interested in that. Uh, PSA 10 on card auto refractor. But anyway, um, <laughs> his card's worth maybe 120 or 30. Anyway, the one I have, but Barlow might, you never know. I don't even know. He's the Rangers number 11th pick out of 16. So, okay. Going back to, uh, are you getting your value for this product? Okay. I haven't gone a short print, but uh, apparently, Based on what I'm reading, the retail, it will actually have the short prints. Whereas the hobby packs, they you still have a chance to get these autos and stuff. They're not guaranteed. Like the regular hobby, which is out of as two per a box and five out of the jumbos. But the short prints aren't in those. So I don't know how, what, how much more they're going to go down in, in uh, price, but the... Uh, Don't get me wrong, these cards are beautiful. I, I'm going to give Tops an A. I'm sorry, no, I can't give you an A for the messing up the short prints. So we'll give you a B- minus here. I, I just love the product, so I can't give you any worse. But, man, you, if you'd screwed up anymore, I would say it's a B. I mean, less than a B. But I'm holding, holding out that the retail product is what you want to chase for these. And unless... They keep going down and you find a good deal on the hobby. Under two hundred dollars a box, I might go play that. Um going to a card shop at the Philly show here this weekend, so we'll see how low it gets by then. But if they're not including those short prints, J Rod, you know, Riley Green, uh Bobby Witt Jr., if they're not in here short prints, I mean you're you're having to buy a case or two just to get one of their cards. It's just that's kind of ridiculous. You should at least get a, a short print or two per case, I, I would think. But it, with the hobby right now, yeah, the value is definitely dropping. So just keep an eye on the market there and don't overpay on your product there. So we're this is probably the lowest grade I've given uh, on one of my videos. But B minus, I, I love the overall product. But man, you tops, you need to get your game up here. That's I, I hate giving them my credit for you. So, yeah, I would look stick to the retail if you can get hobby on a deal when the price goes down. But you're, if you're looking for, you know, anybody but, you know, J-Rod and Bobby Wood Jr., I mean, you can maybe get hobby if they go down. But I, I still, it's a beautiful product there. So you you still could chase the rainbow with these guys. We got a, you know, 75 refractor wave and the, the 199. So, Still beautiful product, just B- minus is what my grade would be on this product here. I'll probably buy more, but I'm going to be kind of shot away from the hobby packs, even though we got an auto auto one. Well, actually, we got two of these number cards, but I thought I had a chance of getting a J-Rod, and that's kind of out of the door unless you're getting those packs. that there's. So apparently, I will go back and review the, the uh, tops statement, but they're sending like a silver pack to each hobby shop for every box they got. So you might be able to buy those packs and they're going to be probably at least if the hobby shops are selling them and that, that we're looking at probably 20 some dollars plus on just a pack. I don't even know. I don't even inherit a number, but um, the only other thing would be to kind of going in circles here, but the hobby light packs I did check tops this morning and besides the blasters which are retail the hobby 
light pack uh, boxes that are uh, mini white diamonds. Apparently, you should be getting the short prints in them. It might be a little bit harder to get out of the other pa uh, boxes, but the blasters and the hobby light, based on what I'm seeing today, uh, they should have the short prints. Just the regular hobby and the hobby jumbo HTAs that I won't have them. So I'm sure there's more information out here, and uh, you probably don't want me to see me uh, with my cat here anymore. <laughs> I'll finish this up and uh, let you guys have a great uh, rest of your week here, and stay tuned for what the next uh, information coming out from Tops. But out of three products, we got one auto and two number cards, so I'm happy with that. Even though I'm not <laughs> making a ton of money off of an auto that as a pitcher, but I got a decent return off these and hope you guys enjoy the video. Get a sample size of what you might find uh, and maybe help you guys make a decision on what you want there. But uh, Batman ZFA, um, probably too late to post this video tonight, but I'll try to get this out tomorrow, uh, Wednesday, and enjoy the rest of the week. Stay safe and Batman ZFA out. Have a good night, everyone. Take care.